We've been at it 13 years. The time is now. Let's get the damn thing done and go on with our lives. Tower three. That, of course, is the nearly three million square foot building. I think you said it's 2.8 million that you want to build right next door to this building. Mm -hmm. The Port Authority is going to decide whether it gives you the financial backstop to do that. And I think the big question that a lot of people are asking is, do we need all that space? First, first thing you hear when people start talking about it uh, in a negative frame, framework, uh, they say there's a glut of space on the market. Truth, there's no glut. Um, now, why do I say there's no glut? So effectively, the, the space that was available uh, at, at what was called World Financial ain't no, <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no there, it's gone. That's it. By the time that's available in Tower 3, it's three years from now, it's 2018. That's gonna be gone, this is gonna be gone. What are you gonna do for space? What kind of tenants besides the city and the Port Authority are interested in looking at this tower? We've got about, um, about 900,000 feet here in Tower 4, right? That's still available. It's still available, right? And so there are some leases that are in the throes of negotiation now. They are looking at it and negotiating it and, and deeply involved in it, and it's all good stuff. How much of it is? Several hundred thousand feet is going forward. Some people would say to that, they would say, Larry, we agree with you. We need more space, but we think you should just wait until you're able to get all these tenants that are coming downtown that are showing up. There's plenty that are looking for Midtown South and Midtown and they're looking to come downtown. Why shouldn't we just wait until you're able to get those tenants and finance the, the tower by yourself? We're not suggesting the Port Authority put its money into it. We're not doing that. All we're saying is give us your balance sheet so that we can finance Tower 3 because it's part of the deal that we made together with Port Authority back in 2010. In 2010, we gave the port $3 billion of insurance company, insurance company proceeds, right? $3 billion of the four and a half billion collected. We gave them three of the four and a half, right? Then they had another need. Their other need was to build the base, the podium base of Tower 3. Why? Because in the podium base of Tower 3 will reside all the mechanical systems for the PATH terminal. You can only open the PATH terminal if you have the mechanical systems. So they said, please build this for us. It's another half a billion dollars. So we spent another half a billion dollars for it, right? But as part of that deal, as part of that deal, they agreed to finance Tower 3 for us, which is what we're going through now. Ken Lipper, a board member on the Port Authority, he's been an outspoken critic of this deal. He says, Larry, why can't you just wait until you get the private sector commitments from the office tenants to build a tower on your own? What do you tell Ken Lipper? The fact of the matter is, just why don't we build a bus terminal instead? I said, look, I can't help you about bus terminals. I don't know about bus terminals. The only thing I know is that I've been working for 13 years with the Port Authority to build the trade center, to get it finished, to get it done. To stop now would be the dumbest thing we could possibly do in my humble estimation. You want to get this built as quickly as it possibly can, get it finished. We've been out of 13 years. The time is now. Let's get the damn thing done and go on with our lives. At Hudson Yards, related companies, the developer of that project has been able to raise huge office buildings without any public assistance. So Hudson Yards, you don't have ground leases. This entire transaction is predicated on 99-year ground leases. I thought they ground leased it from the MTA. No, they have some, there's something else there. Nothing, nothing like what we've got here. It's a totally different set of circumstances. Totally. I thought it was a similar structure. That was just my recollection. And they, it was just owned by the MTA, whereas this is owned by the Port Authority. There's something there with the MTA, but there's nothing as extensive as this one. Before we get off the subject, I wanted to address one of the points, a perception of you, I think, that I see in the media and in the public, and that's often brought up, of the fact that you don't have a lot of your own money invested in the World Trade Center site. Even Mayor Bloomberg at one point said Larry doesn't have a lot of his own skin in the game. Is that true, that allegation? When 9-11 happened, we suddenly faced ourselves with a massive need for capital with which to rebuild the buildings. Right? Capital can only come from one source, insurance company proceeds. Right? So we launched, me, a five-year effort to collect multiple billions of dollars from 22 insurance companies who didn't want to pay a dime, not one dime. Right? 
So we had to sue them. We had to litigate with them. And it took five years. We got the four and a half billion dollars. Three of it we gave to the Port Authority. Haven't, haven't, I, haven't I earned my, my keep? Haven't I earned my peace at this point? You've been through so much controversy at this site. There's been so much acrimony and ups and downs and hurdles. Do you ever get to a point where you built this building, you built Seven World Trade Center, I've done what I set out to do, I did develop part of the World Trade Center site, and just maybe it's time to just go on my boat? Honestly, no. Uh, my, my focus is on getting built, getting three built, and then getting two built, getting it finished. And when I'm done, then I'm done. I have two more buildings to build here at the Trade Center. In just a few weeks, Larry, you're going to be 83 years old. Do you think you'll live to see that building get built? And I certainly hope so. I expect to. I really expect to. I really want to. So if anything's, anything's motivating me to keep going, that is, I really want to accomplish this.